Hi, my name is Bart and I'm a PhD student at the Jagiellonian University here in Krakow. I have been always passionately asking questions and I think that's why I've become a scientist, to satisfy my curiosity. Today I would like to talk about an uh, example of real science happening in your mouth. Did you ever wondered how you can distinguish orange juice from water? Of course, you can uh, look at the color. But can you also distinguish orange juice from water with your eyes closed? Except for different colors, drinks also have different tastes. Orange juice, for example, is sour and Coke, for example, is sweet. Did you know that in one glass of Coke there are 10 spoons of sugar? But even though most fizzy soda drinks are sweet, we can distinguish between them. The same is true for chocolate. I think that this one is sweet, but this one is with coffee, so this one will for sure be bitter. And this one will taste like fruits, I guess. But no matter how they uh, differ a bit, there is always this basic chocolate taste. The world of taste is quite similar to the world of colors. We all have uh, knowledge of the basic colors, blue, yellow and red. But if we would only use these basic colors, it would be quite monotone in the world. It's only when you uh, go and mix those basic colors in appropriate amounts that you get interesting effects. The same is true with taste. Only when you go and mix the basic uh, flavors that you recognize, you get a ve very big variety of taste. But how do we taste our food and our drinks? Most of the tasting we do with our tongue. And on our tongue, we have these little buds. We call them taste buds or taste receptors. On average, your tongue has almost 4,000 of those buds. On the sides of these taste buds, there are specific cells that when they come in contact with our food or drink, make a signal. Your brain interprets this signal as a flavor. It's a bit like um, switching on the light. When you push the light switch, there is a signal going immediately through the cable to the lamp and the lamp goes on. There are five basic flavors that we recognize with our tongue. That are sweet, sour, bitter, salty and umami. Umami is the newest one in this uh, row of basic flavors. It's not uh, sweet, it's not sour, it's not bitter. It's different. Every time when we eat a piece of old cheese or we take a bite of a tomato, or when we eat a chicken soup, you can uh, experience the umami taste. Umami was recognized as an official taste in 2001. But is it also possible to cheat your taste? Because actually, on our tasting, we don't only do with our basic taste on the tongue. We also use, for example, our nose. What will happen if you would uh, close your nose when you taste something. And what happens when you close your eyes and your nose? I think it's now time for you to go with your teacher and do some nice experiments about taste and do some daily science. And when you are doing this daily science, I think I will do my own science now. 